ready with me for 2024. This is your sign if you have not already thought about how you want to feel, what you want to accomplish, things you want to get done in 2024. Do it now, grab a notebook, grab a laptop. I have a pretty set ritual for how I get ready for the next year. I've been doing it for almost seven to eight years now. So we're gonna start with a 2023 monthly review. If you set goals for 2023, we're gonna do a 2023 goal review as well. Then we're going to think about what could have gone differently in 2023 and I guess big learnings that you have. And last but not least, we're gonna make a 2023 gratitude list. Then 2024, we're gonna think about what we want December 2024 to look like. I wanna start with the end and work back. Then you're gonna translate that to a vision board. Then we're gonna break down that vision board into actual goals. I personally use Notion for that. I'm gonna make a separate video on my Notion setup for actual goal setting. I've done my monthly review and I actually do it on a Trello board. So I just create different cards for each month of the year. And then I just go in and write a little comment really quick. I'm also gonna do this thing, which I saw on the Tim Ferriss blog, where you do two columns, you write a positive list and a negative list from your last year. And then you proactively make sure you schedule in time to do the positive stuff for the next year. Now I'm reviewing my 2023 goals. I think reflecting is great, but you don't want to spend too, too much time just reflecting on the time that has been. So let's look forward. Now I'm going to start thinking about 2024 and what I want my life to look like at this time next year. A vision board is done. I just edited the previous year's one in Canva. All right, the final step is to document 2024 goals. I'm gonna do that in a separate video because I go all out in my Notion board for that. So follow along if you want to see how I document and track my 2024 goals.